flags were lowered to half staff across the province on Monday, commemorating the lives lost during the worst mass murder spree in modern Canadian history. In Elmsdale, bagpipes heard throughout the local superstore, followed by a moment of silence. It's been two years since an enraged 51-year-old denturist ravaged several rural Nova Scotian communities, killing neighbours and strangers at will, all while disguised as an RCMP officer. Today, scars still run deep. We've all been affected. Christine Blair is the mayor of Colchester County. She knows several family members who were impacted by the shooting. Two years later, trauma remains. The anxiety they felt when they met an RCMP car on the road or they hear the siren of a fire truck. After the shooting, families promptly called for a public inquiry to get answers as to how this could happen. The inquiry's work finally went public in February. However, it's so far provided little comfort. There's many of them that don't, that, that still have trouble sleeping at night. There's people that have told me that they, you know, they get up in the night to go to the bathroom and they, they got to check every window in the house. This year's commemoration was much different than last. Rather than a public ceremony and a memorial run, families requested privacy, coping with this time of the year on their own terms. The people that were traumatized are still traumatized. There is no two ways about it. I just want people to keep the families and the friends and the neighbors in your hearts and your prayers. Families, friends, and neighbors that were taken far too soon. Graham Benjamin, Global News, Halifax.